Hey, it, it's time to play, and I'm, gosh, I'm so excited that we get a chance to, to work some more on the mall. Um, noticed a few configuration issues that we had that I want to show you kind of what I'm talking about over here in that we have these particular smart splitters and they receive their product from the train in this on this side and on the train they they sort it particularly so down here we have the smart splitter set just to say it'll accept any out the center output and if it's full send the overflow to the right well what you just saw go by was a bunch of concrete which definitely is an overflow item because that particular container is currently full but when i configured this side i did it that way and when i configured on this side i for some reason thought that i needed to configure all of the all of the smart splitters out here and the smart splitters back here well the problem with that is i don't need to so i've gone and corrected these smart splitters at the container to let any go by and overflow just to the left output. I've corrected that all the way down here. But now what I need to do is I need to correct it on this end so that they begin just sending the overflow that they need to to each one. So this one is the Alcat Aluminum on this side. And I believe I already have this one configured to go Alcat Aluminum to the right. The center output is batteries. And over to the left, I'm going to go ahead and just change this to be overflow. Okay. So I'm going to now set up the uh, smart splitters to begin sorting it out out here instead of sorting it back at the containers. Okay. So let's get started. So let's go to a smart splitter here. And what I need to do is rotate this around so it's receiving from that side. Should go right there. Let's take out this and this and that right there. And we'll configure this one to be their smart plating. The right output goes to smart plating and the center output goes to overflow. Connect these up and connect that up and smart plating is going in there. So we need to configure this one first. So the copper sheet goes to the right and center output is, is any and we have rotors going to the right. So let's connect these up. But I changed it to any undefined on these rather than just any, because any can cause confusion with the fact that any means anything, but we've also got defined ones that it doesn't know what to do with them. So any and any undefined, when you've got specific product defined going one direction, you've got to change it to any undefined to get the any side to work. So since we don't have an overflow situation here because these will never be overflowed because if they're if they the containers are full it'll just send it straight through this uh, serpentine belt to the sink now i've got this second drone port here that i have named product mall two this one is product mall one and it has two different drones that are coming into it it has the drone from the valley and it has the drone from the aluminum factory well there's a couple different products that we have coming in like the motor factory and the supercomputer factory that we want stored down here so we want to make a drone up in the top of the mega factory 
to bring that product down and we'll direct that product to drone part two in the mall. So now that we have this all working uh, the way it's supposed to, and that's going there, good. It's made it all the way down. It's not getting confused. It's not getting stuck anywhere. And you saw that there were a multitude of different products in here and it's being all sorted here in the mall to its appropriate place. This is quite a busy, busy place when both the train as it's coming in and the drone ports begin dropping off their product. So it's, it's quite exciting to see. So let's go get a couple other products and get them uh, coming down here. We'll be able to add them to the, to the mix and make the mall a more viable place to go. Okay, so where do we want to put this thing? Well, that drone port could fit right there, I think. Okay, the ins and the outs are all one direction. A little farther forward. There we go. And we have this right here. So we're going to connect this and we're going to just bring it out here. I'm just going to bring it straight out here. And then I'm going to figure out where supercomputers can come from. Okay. Yeah, let's put it there. That'll be pretty close to everything. And then we gotta build a drone. Okay, now I want to tell, this is uh, factory top level. Okay, factory top level. And we want to send this to Product Mall 2. And we want it to send it back to this port. Product Mall 2 back to this port at this point. Now we need to have some batteries. All right, it's loaded. It's locked and it will take off here in a moment. We've not set up that factory yet to, to receive the supercomputer or uh, the motors yet. So let's rush down there and we'll set that up. So I need to build a conveyor from this output port. Oh, let's get that sink moved so I can configure the conveyors. Wait, we are sure busy. We got two drones docked and one drone flying up above, circling, waiting for his spot. Oof. Okay, we got one drone taking off. Hope they've got a good air traffic controller. Okay. Good. All right, it's going to drone port one. All drone port one. Okay, now we need center output is going to be any undefined. And this one is going to be for the supercomputers. So the center output is any undefined and this one is going to be the motors here we go let's hook these things up all right supercomputers going through and supercomputers going into that one okay now why did the oh look at that Smart plating doesn't have a place to go. 
So I believe what I will do is put in another container and put in another row of wall. So let's do that. That looks about centered. Yeah. Looking good. And that will work. Okay. There it is. This to there, and this to there, 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 and there goes the plate. Reinforced iron plate. Good. All right, I need to go get some ports to make some signs. But this, this has been a great adventure. I mean, we got the second drone port going. We've got more product coming from upper level of the uh, mega factory. And we just literally have uh, a lot of busy things happening right here with everything being filtered properly. And so the things that are overflow being synced. Just need to get signs on these three that I've built and go from there. So it's been a great time. Hope you liked it. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we can uh, play more together and uh, watch our live stream, especially live streams, especially that are coming up soon. And of course, we hope to do a special one all day long on the day that 1.0 is being released. We'll start from scratch and we'll play all the new features and see how far we get by the end of the day. So uh, come on along with us and uh, hope to see you again. Thanks.